Hey everybody, this is Faze Ali for All Things Mobile, and today I'll be taking a quick look at the PIM apps for the BlackBerry Playbook on OS 2.0. Now, what PIM stands for is Personal Information Management, and these applications are the Messages, which is the email client, Contacts, and Calendar. Now, on February 21st, 2012, we got this update at 5.01 a.m., and I decided to wait a little while instead of rushing into the review because you really can't find all the little bugs and glitches unless you have been using the application for a while and observing any any bugs or glitches etc you can't really you're not going to find them all on the first day and i'm happy to report that these applications are stable so let's get to it first up is the messaging client and this is exactly what you'd expect in in a tablet it's basically you've got the the messages here on the on the left side on the left pane then you got the actual message you got highlighted here on the right pane you could scroll up and down pinch to zoom works and it's interesting because if I pinch to zoom it'll actually re-render it so it fits into that into the into the resized view I can also take that view away and then open this up and I get the full 7 inch display dedicated to the message Pull that back up. Um, there's also options to reply, reply all, forward, flag. Um, don't know what that is. Oh, uh, mark is opened, and that's just a file away in a folder. And then the um, last icon down here is to delete the message. So you can also add multiple accounts, and you guys can see that. Um, there's there's a couple accounts. There's my Gmail account and then my Twitter account. So let's pull that off screen. Oops. As well as uh, down here, we've got the option of composing an email message. So I could compose an email message, and then uh, you could see that there's rich text formatting, um, different size fonts, different fonts themselves, uh, colors, bold, underline, italic. You know the whole the whole deal there. And uh, so that's that. You could also, if you have another um, service connected, like a Twitter account or a Facebook account or a LinkedIn account, you could also send messages directly from those accounts within the email client. So that's the email client. It's it's pretty nice. I like it. Works well. Next, we're gonna look at the calendar application. So the calendar application is actually quite interesting because it's got a couple features which I, I haven't seen anywhere else actually. So in the main view, this is what you get. This is your monthly view. And in your monthly view, you get the the month, obviously, the monthly view. And you also get three tabs here. Um, this is the day view. This kind of just lets you know how your day is going. And any, anything you've got planned goes in here. Your agenda is, it just kind of consolidates all that. So you'll see that it has it there it has the event here whereas in the day view you go all the way down you see how long the event spans over and then you've also got the people tab and that's just who you're meeting with which is pretty cool yeah again that's something I've never actually seen in in a calendar application you can scroll through the months pretty easily um, May June July you know uh, you can also tap here to select the year and you can go to a month there and on the left hand side you could see April 3rd April 3 that's today so if you press that that just goes back to today this brings you into a weekly view so you could see your your calendar in a weekly view and it'll it'll just um, display that and it'll also show you the week like the week number as well so this just happens to be week 15 April 8th to April 14th and then you guys can see again you got this option of switching around or going to a specific week and that leads you back to this week and then you've got the the regular uh, monthly view you can also just create calendar events whoops create calendar events pretty easily um, choose a start location and um, if you pull this down you guys can see that you can add 
calendar accounts, so Playbook Local and my personal account. It's a pretty neat little calendar. Um, I do use it and there's another feature actually within this calendar which is pretty interesting. It's called growing numbers. Basically what that means is the bigger the number the more busy you are on that day. So you guys can see here I've got March 2012 and April 2012. I've got events in both. So you guys can see in March I wasn't too busy. I had a couple of days where I was busy like the 18th, um, the 13th and the 14th and the 9th I was a little busy. Then here on April, in April, you can see that the other days I'm um, busy, like the 13th, the 10th, the 9th, and the 4th. So the idea behind this is that you can have your calendar, and if you're talking to someone and they're scheduling something and whatnot, you can quickly just take a look at your calendar. You could see what days you're busy, and you could schedule accordingly without actually having to go into that specific day and find what event that that is that you need to do and and figure out okay am i busy at that time am i can i make it for that event or that appointment it's something quick and it lets you know right away just by looking at it so and that i thought that was kind of interesting because i never would have thought that gro the growing numbers idea would appeal to me but after using this for a while i'm thinking it's it's a nice idea and i and i'd like to see it implemented in other um, in other brands or other tablets as well. Next up is the contact application. This is fairly straightforward um, and it follows the same setup as the others left and right panes. The right panes have all the options like this is our Twitter account so you can follow us on Twitter at atmobile underscore ca and you'll see this pop up or you'll see this picture pop up and that's our Twitter account our Twitter feed and here you can that indicates it's a Twitter feed. This shows any company or any recent tweets. So, for example, if I had this hooked up to a Facebook account, I could also see the recent uh, Facebook uh, status updates. This is just company information. This is um, the meetings. These are like uh, connections. So, LinkedIn connections. This is nearby locations. Any locations that are shared. You could star it. You could edit the content. You could also link. Other accounts to the contact, like if your friend has a Twitter account and you've also got them in the address book, you could find their name in the address book and then link up their Twitter account. Unless they've already linked it up via the email address, in which case you really don't have to do anything. It's all linked up automatically. Um, you can add a new contact. You can search for contact. Now let's actually do that now. Search, because I find this interesting. Um, and this is the only application that does it where you can actually adjust the size of these panes, which is uh, pretty neat. Just it's fun to play around with, and you guys can see that I'm just you know adjusting the panes, and it works pretty smoothly too. So, so um, yeah, that's pretty interesting, and this still does scroll around. So that's contacts. Overall. I, I do like the, the new PIM apps. I think they're quite nice. They should have really been there since the beginning um, in April of 2011 when the playbook originally launched. But nonetheless, they're here now and they work quite well. And they do sync. You could also set the interval of sync for mail, for example. It could be set to sync as push. So all the time push, meaning if I send a message or email to myself or whoever, I can receive those emails instantly and they just get pushed to the device without me having to intervene in any way. So that's the PIM apps, that's the mail contacts calendar. I'm Faisali for All Things Mobile. I'll see you guys in the next video.